The whole property is around about 10 hectares. We've got a, a small stream, river, running along the bottom of the property. In the summer, it goes down to virtually nothing, but in the winter, we've got a raging torrent going down there. And the property slopes upwards. We're about 780 metres at the point of the house, and it gets a lot higher as it goes up. The majority of the property is forested, which is a pine mixture. Um, but we're, we're gradually clearing that and replacing it with um, other deciduous species. The lower part of the, uh, of the property, it's bisected by a, a very quiet road, the lower part of the property, which is the part which is, I suppose, our, our zone one, um, where our house is, where our, our training room is, our kitchen, all of those things, that's where the, we're doing the majority of our work on a day-to-day -day basis. vegetable gardens, we have the animal, animal shed. We have one, two, three and a half fields, I suppose, where we, uh, where we grow vegetables or we, or we walk the goats. I like the, um, I like the stillness of the farm. Um, there's always somewhere quiet that you can be. The thing that makes it all work is the water, of course. Um, if we didn't have the water, then nothing else would. Nothing else would work. We've done a lot of work on the uh, on the water um, to to make to take the water to where we need it to be. Since we first started accepting volunteers, we've probably had between seven and eight hundred visitors to the farm. What I'd like to produce here is a, a project that can sustain us as a family and also the volunteers and, and visitors who spend time here. Sustain us in terms of um, our immediate needs, so food, water, heat, all of those sort of things. Um, I also want us to, to be in a position to offer an educational experience to people. But I think that the thing that we're trying to offer to people is the opportunity to discover a lifestyle which is different to what they may experience at home. Um, we appreciate that the way we live is perhaps different to the majority of people and if we can show people that that's not so bad, perhaps they'll go back and even if they only put one aspect of that into operation, then I'll feel we'll have done something worthwhile. This project has many elements to investigate. Um, we're lucky in that we have, uh, we have plentiful water, we have animals here, um, we have vegetables here, we have forestry here. It's an opportunity to experience perhaps a little bit of everything. This is a, a working project. We use permaculture as the framework um, for, you know, for how, that, how that is put together and how we live our lives. And we hope that if people come here, they can, they can learn a little bit about that to, to take away. There's nothing quite so satisfying as to sit down to a, a meal at the end of a day's work and realise that virtually everything on the table has come from our own land, through our own labours, you know, and, and we have got the power to, to, to create that. We ourselves, from a lot of our projects, we will not harvest the fruit, as we can say, because the forestry project and all that is a much longer term project than our own lives would be. Uh, but it's a bit beautiful to create that and leave it behind. Yeah. Yeah.